in hello and welcome this video series is about Drupal 8 SEO in this session we are going to look at how to set up a sitemap for better SEO and Drupal has a contributed module called XML sitemap what it does is uh, it helps search engines to intelligently crawl the website and index your pages and it also this module also uh, automatically submit to major search engines this module also allows us to control what part of the the nodes to be included in the for the search engines very good there's a link here sitemaps.org you can click on that and get more information about the structure of the um, sitemap so that is the sitemaps.org the explanation here shows the different um, tags within and um, descriptions about them so you can read it at your leisure all right so let us uh, go and have a some further look there is some documentation to go with that this is the documentation associated with this um, module and you can read it at your leisure at the time of this recording the module 8 is not ready yet but it is an alpha version but for our test purpose that's fine just um, we can we can go ahead and install it so copy the link address extend install new, new modules and paste it and install enable newly added modules now look for XML sitemap enable these three and install have great three modules has have been enabled XML sitemap sitemap custom sitemap engine the next thing to do is to give permission to our SEO manager remember we created an SEO manager before click on uh, people and permissions XML sitemap admin privileges to SEO manager the, that one and save so that is saved now we can go ahead and configure the sitemap configuration search and metadata XML sitemap click on that so when we come here there is a couple of errors it says um, one or more problem detected XML configuration click on the status report and there are two errors 27 checked cached files have been generated not generated so it is asking to run cron manually that's okay so run cron it should fix some of the problems right uh, now the sitemap is generated still there is one error that is a Drupal update I will do that later now go back to the um, XML sitemap setup and the sitemap en entities this is the first thing to set up and here you can control which part of the entities you want to show up obviously we, we want uh, content and we want um, maybe file and maybe taxonomy terms these are the three main ones the other ones you can add if you want to so let's start with article configure in the inclusion you select included and you want to prioritize usually the contents you want to prioritize slightly higher um, six seven eight nine nine ten or even first make it say eight so that is uh, always yes say configuration next you go to settings in the settings minimum sitemap lifetime is uh, there is no minimum you just uh, depend upon your, your circumstances you just change whatever you want I set it as minimum no minimum I include style sheet in the sitemap for humans it this will allow a uh, style sheet to be viewed by humans in a human readable form that's a good thing prefetch URL aliases if you have a larger site say hundreds of uh, uh, pages then uh, it is better to switch it off but if you have a smaller site less than few hundred pages uh, nodes just keep it on in the advanced settings just leave everything as it is it, it looks fine and save configuration so you go to rebuild because we are going to rebuild the sitemap rebuild and select all of them it's already selected I think there we are click on that and then control click will select all of them save and restore any custom inclusion priority links and all that select on that and save conf 
configuration. So it will rebuild the sitemap. So configuration option has been saved, sitemap links were rebuilt. Very good. This sitemap is uh, freshly created each time the uh, background cron runs. Let us look at the cron. It is under configuration and system cron. Cron is an automated system maintenance task that runs on a regular basis in the background. It does uh, cleaning up of the, your Drupal site uh, maintain task and, and maintenance task and so on. Cron. You can run Cron at any time. So Cron actually look for uh, site updates and um, flash caches, uh, rebuild XML site maps and so on. You can also control how frequently you want the Cron to be run. I think uh, I think uh, I think that three hours is just fine. So we didn't change anything. Let us uh, save the configuration. So that is saved. Run Cron run successfully, that's all fine. Part of the Cron activity is also find out if there is any updates. At the moment there is an update for me, but I will do that later. To, to see the site map, go back to your site and um, type it here, say sitemap.xml and you should be able to see this the sitemap for our site. I have some dummy test contents there, that's what it is. And it's generated by Drupal XML sitemap module. So we have created a sitemap using the XML sitemap module. In the next session, we will look into how to submit to various search engines. Thank you for watching. Hello, if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to this channel and share it with friends. Thank you.